Welcome to Eternity Effect Files. In this series, we'll take a look at some of the questions regarding He-Man and She-Ra and try to answer them, from the nitty-gritty to more general topics. Now, since He-Man and She-Ra have a long history in comics, cartoons and more, the answers may come from in-universe or from behind the scenes. My name is Yuko, and this video's topic is In the reboot 2002 cartoon of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe by Mike Ham Productions, fans were treated with a lot of familiar faces from the 80s action figure line from classic filmation show. My pleasure, Count Marzo. You know, it is difficult for people like me to make a better life for themselves in Eternia when there are people like you around. <laughs> I've lived for thousands of years, He-Man. And I will outlive you. In the end, we'll see who rules Eternia. As well as some brand new characters. This animated show ran for 39 episodes during its two season run. Well, if we want to get technical about it, it's more like one and a half season. Because while season 2 was planned with 26 episodes, just like season 1, the order only was for 13 to be made. And a script for episode 40 completed by the late, great Dean Stefan. Though, sadly, no animation for it. With the series cut short, so to speak, fans were curious to know what the creators had in mind, had things continued. And luckily, at eman.org forums, producer Ian Richter was kind enough to give a Q&A during 2005, where he discussed the ideas for the last 13 episodes of Season 2, as well as their initial concepts and ideas for Season 3. One question fans were curious to learn that which character was going to be introduced in the show next. And Ian replied with, I think it was Clampchamp. Though nothing more was said about him sadly. Would have been curious to see if he had kept a similar role from the vintage line where he was the bodyguard for King Randor. Some misconception has risen during the years that he was going to replace Man at Arms, but nothing in the 2000X plans suggest that. Since this was just a year after the show had ended, there's no reason Ian wouldn't mention if the next character introduced for the show would play a pivotal role, like replacing a core member. In the very same Q&A thread, he had made it already clear that Duncan wasn't leaving anywhere. But that's another video for another time. If we go by the information on what toys were coming out with Clampchamp as an indicator for possible cartoon characters, at Mattel booth some years later we did get to see the planned 2004 Heroic Wave 1 Fall lineup that had a new anti-snake themed variant He-Man, Clampchamp, a cool attack, and actually Snoutspout. Clampchamp and Snoutspout by the Four Horsemen got released as stections from NECA, even if they didn't get a release in the toy line proper. Would have been great to see both in the cartoon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what other topics you'd like to see featured on Eternia Fact Files. And as always, be sure to like and share the video, and subscribe because that way the YouTube's almighty algorithm will let other fans also see these videos. My name is Yukka, and I wish you good journey.